Hi, my name is Viraj and this is my YouTube channel Match by Viraj. Today I am going to teach you algebra. I am going to upload a series of videos like a circle theorem for algebra where I will be teaching you all from the most preliminary stages up to the advanced stages that you will have to know in your syllabus. When learning and doing something in algebra, you will have to come across two words, constants and variables. Let me explain to you those two simple words using a simple expression. Here you have x plus 3. 3 is known as a constant. x is known as a variable. Any number or an integer used in an equation is known as a constant. A letter or a symbol used in an equation is known as a variable. But don't get the wrong idea. Addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, they do not fall under either the constants or the variables. Let's do the most basics first. What are those basics? We know that 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. What is 1 here? This is plus 1 or the positive 1. We can draw a number line for this. What is a number line? Number line is used to do maths easily. Rather than doing it on your mind, we can draw on a number line. 1 and 2. This is our positive end. This is our negative end. We are in plus 1. Now I have to add another plus 2. Therefore I jump 2 times towards the positive side. Where I get the answer 3. What is this 3? Plus 3. Therefore, I can say 1 plus 2 is 3. This is pretty easy. Then, what if we got 1 minus 2? 1 minus 2. Again, let's draw a number line. This is my negative end. This is my positive end. I am in plus 1. Remember, if there is no sign given in front, we can assume that it is plus. Now, I should go 2 times towards my negative end. Towards my negative end. 1, 2. Where did I end up? I ended up at minus 1. Therefore, 1 minus 2, the answer is minus 1. 1 minus 2, my answer is minus 1. What if I got minus 4 plus 3? Let's see now again. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. 1, 2, 3. My positive end, my negative end. I am in minus 4. I should move 3 times towards my positive end. 3 times towards my positive end. Because it's minus 4 plus 3. 1, 2, 3. Where did I end up? I ended up at minus 1. From minus 4, I had to add 3. I moved 3 times and I ended up at minus 1. What if I got minus 2 minus 3 very easy again I am in minus 2 this is my positive end this is my negative end now I am supposed to go towards the minus side 3 times I am at minus 2 Go to minus side 3 times, which gives me 1, 
टू थ्री वेन आई एंड अप आई एंड अप एट माइनस फाइव अगेन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री I start my calculation from minus two. I have to move three units towards my negative end. One, two, three. I ended up having minus five. Minus two plus three. Zero. One, two, three. Minus one, minus two, minus three. Now I I have to start off my calculation with. Minus two. This is my negative end. This is my positive end. I should move three times towards my positive end. Three times towards my positive end. I start off with minus two and three times towards my positive end. One, two, three. Where do I end up? At plus one. At plus one. Remember, children, you need not always uh, write this plus one. You can write as one because we already know that if there is no sign in front, that it is plus. With or without the sign, you can give the final answer. Drawing a number line is not the only method of solving such sums. Let's try to do without drawing a number line. Minus three plus two. Oh. Two minus three. Now don't get the wrong idea that this is not plus two. No, this is plus two. Or as in minus three goes to the other side or behind plus two, it becomes plus. No, both of them have the same value. Now let's try to do the sum without drawing a number line. We know that three. Is having a larger value than two. Three is having a larger value than two. Now let's not think about the positive and the negative because we know that minus three is obviously smaller than plus two. But in this way, we know that three three is larger than two. Now we are adding plus two to minus three. We are adding plus two to minus three. Therefore, the negative side is larger and the positive side is smaller. Therefore, the final answer that we should get should be negative or minus. Very simple. For minus three, we are adding two to a larger negative number. We are adding a smaller positive number. Therefore. The answer should be minus. Now we can easily do it as three minus two. Answer is one. Therefore, now we write the answer as minus one. As minus one. Now, both the numbers are negative. Both the numbers are negative. So it's easy. Negative and negative. Now, children. You all know that negative and negative when multiplied divided becomes positive. Yes, we will come to that. But here minus one minus two. You are in minus one. You further subtract minus two. Therefore, the answer should be how much? Minus whatever the answer that is. You are in minus. You further go towards the minus side. Therefore, the answer should be minus. Now one two. You are adding numbers towards the negative side. Minus, minus, minus one and two is three. You are in minus one. You further go two times to the negative side. The answer is minus three. What if I had minus one plus three? Yes, the same way. We are adding a small and negative number. To a larger positive number, the positive number is larger than that of the negative number. Therefore, our answer should be positive. We are adding a smaller number to a larger positive number. The negative number is smaller than the positive number. Therefore, the answer should be positive.
minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2. Minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2. Or else we can easily turn the numbers and write 3 minus 1 and the answer is 2. See children now you have to you have to practice these sums. When you practice there will be some difficulties. So if there are any difficulties in practicing and doing these sums, please make a comment below so that we can discuss it. Early in this video, we did only addition and subtraction, but we gave priority to the sign of the number. For instance, what if I was to multiply minus 2 into plus 3? Children always remember when multiplying, dividing, adding or subtracting, Give priority to the sign of the number. Now you see what is it? Minus 2 is multiplied by plus 3. Minus 2 is multiplied by plus 3. Minus into plus is always minus. Minus into plus is always minus. Then you go for normal multiplication. 2 into 3, 6. Minus 2 into minus 3. Minus into minus is plus. First give priority to the sign. Minus into minus is plus. 2 into 3 is 6. Again. 2 into minus 3. Here even though there is no sign given. We can assume it to be. Plus, plus into minus is minus. Similar to minus into plus is minus. Likewise, plus into minus is minus. 2 into 3 is 6. Therefore, plus 2 into minus 3 is minus 6. Further moving on, 2 into 3. Both the numbers are positive. Therefore, the answer is also positive. 2 into 3, 6. Plus into plus. Plus 2 into 3, 6. Now, let's learn the same for division. Plus 10 divided by plus 2. Answer is plus 5. Plus divided by plus. Positive divided by positive is positive. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Plus 10 divided by minus 2. Plus divided by minus. Positive divided by negative. Answer is minus. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Positive divided by negative is a negative. Minus 10 divided by plus 2. Minus divided by a plus. Answer is minus. A negative divided by a positive is negative. Therefore it is minus 5. Minus 10 divided by minus 2. Minus divided by minus. Negative divided by a negative is positive. Minus divided by minus is plus 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now children, as you can see on the board, when plus multiplied by plus, it is plus. Plus multiplied by minus, it's minus. Minus multiplied by plus is minus. Minus multiplied by minus is plus. Similarly, in division, plus divided by plus is plus. Plus divided by minus is minus. Minus divided by plus is minus and minus divided by minus is plus. So irrespective whether you multiply or divide, if there are two signs involved, even in division or in multiplication, the answer is negative. And if the same sign is used either to multiply or divide, the final answer is plus or positive. Today we learned some very few basics of algebra. If there is anything more to be explained, please make a comment below. And for further new videos, stay with us, subscribe, 
मैथ्स बाई विराज